Alright, welcome back to part three. Let me update the thingamabob here. We're going to install Barnyard part three. Na, 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 part three. Inst oh man, install barn barnyard two. Okay, so with Barnyard, there is a new ver the latest version is like 2.1.3. We will not be using 2.1.3 because I think there's poopy pants happening with that version. I've been having a lot of problems with it. Um, one sec. I've been having a lot of problems with it just killing and chewing up CPU utilization and everything like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an older version. Barnyard dose. Hold on, I got to get my ducks in a row here. Let me just minimize that. Um, yeah, so barnyard. So many freaking things open. Barnyard, barnyard, barnyard. I need to find. Screw that. Screw that. Oh, God. Uh, barnyard, 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 barnyard. What am I doing here? Okay. Okay, so are we uh, G to G on the stream here? We're G to G on stream. Okay. We're gonna need some prerequisites for barn yards. What does Barnyard do? Well, Barnyard basically takes the logs that Snort spits out, reads them, and outputs them to a database, which we will be using, in this case, MySQL. Go ahead and run this, which is, uh, we need some prerequisites, MySQL server, MySQL client, blah, blah, blah. We need all the MySQL crapola. So let's do that. Okay, we need a password for the MySQL, so make it as weak as possible. Okay, and once that is done, Okay, once that's done, we're going to go into the uh, snort configuration file and go down to 520, around 520. Uh -huh. oh, in the output section. So in the output section, we want to add output log unified to file name snort.u2 not as in the band uh, like that limit 128 remove that so we want that output unified to file name snort.u2 bono joking limit 128 we need this to tell snort in what format to output the uh, logs now that we're going to be using barnyard which needs it in a particular format that snort does not come with out of the box, so we need to make the configuration change. Okay, let's get Burnyard. Now, I've used the latest, like I said, I'm repeating myself here, which is 2.1.3. I'm gonna go back back to 2.1.0, 2.1.1.0. One, one, I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna say W yet, and I'm gonna say that one. Okay. So let's try this one here. 
we're gonna we're gonna untuck what is see what is barnyard map eh? what happened here as barnyard map uh, uh, oh sorry I want to name this barnyard master so we're going to out put this dash o to bound barnyard master and uh yeah okay so let's untar the barnyard master and let's go into the barnyard master because he is oops oh it's capital m right is that what it is what is it what is it Wait, 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 wait. Didn't I just untar that? Oh, or is it inside barnyard too? Hold on. The frig. No, it's a stupid hell. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's odd. Why did that happen? Pull it. Save it. Resolving connecting location. Yeah. Okay, I really don't care at this point. I don't care. 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 Okay. And we have to run this auto reconf. Why? Because. Okay, so we're gonna, we need to do this now. Some library, this needs. This is all in good Linux fun. Okay, we need to configure this for MySQL, run the doc configure with MySQL and with MySQL support and all that kind of good stuff. Let's see if this works. This is an older version I'm running right now. Let's make it, make it or break it. Make it or break it. Make it. Or break. My dog's going crazy downstairs. Should I bring him upstairs? I don't know. That was pretty fast. Pseudo make. Now make the install. That's done. Let's see if Barnyard Schnard is working. Barn Schnard. Yay. Barnyard 2110. Okay. So uh, what are we doing now? We need to copy the config file into the Schnort directory we need to also make a directory in var log for the barnyards we need to chown this because well why not chown it and we need to make a couple of files that were required which is the waldo file where's waldo well waldo's right there we just touched him in an inappropriate location and then we are going to chown him man he's been abused today now my sequel was installed in that first line that I inputted there, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, log into the my squeal database. Uh, yeah, and we need to create a database called Snort for all you cokeheads out there. And we need to grab the schema, which is not in Barnyard Master. Right, this is gonna be actually in, oh. no, where is it? Hmm. Where is the schemer? Where's the schemer? Oh, frig that, frig that. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Oh, I need to actually know exactly where this fricking thing is. One second, now I gotta go backtrack. I gotta go backtrack. One second. Win SCP. Uh huh. And 
Okay, so that was in source snort. Oh shit. Um. Oh. Come on, where am I here? Right, escape, 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 escape. Quit, quit this. Uh... Oh. Right. What's in here? All right. Create is there a create my sequel in here? In schema? Yeah. Okay, so we need to run, we need to go back into the squeakquel, squeakquel, right? And we need to create a db snort. I think we did this already, right? Error because it's already in their stupid face. Let's use that database. And we need to basically do that but we need to change that to why am I so freaking lost here? Snort, uh, barn, yard, oh, forget it, where's the schema? Man, screwed that screwed me up. Yeah, schema. You want that? Right? And action. Okay, so created the tables inside the database. So now we're going to create a user called Junior in the C MySQL database, and we're gonna give it this password because that is a secure password, MySQL snort password. We need to grant permissions on this database to this user snort that we just created. Blah, 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 that's fine. Exit, okay, moving right along. Now we need to go into the barnyard2.conf and we oops daisy uh there should be something here why is there nothing here oh what hey what is it uh Frick. Where's my barnyard folder? Didn't I copy that over? Where'd it put barnyard? See this one? User local bin barnyard too. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, that's probably why. Okay, hold on. See, this whole thing's screwed up now. Okay, so I need to do that. Right. Okay, so now if I go here, there we go. Do you guys see what I did there? I just friggin' okay. You're following along, right? Okay, so we're gonna go down to the end of this file. 
And at the end of this file, we're gonna click on insert and we need to put, yep. Uh, user is snort in the database. The password is that MySQL password. You written quit. Oops. Written quit. Oops. Written quit. And written quit. And let's change the permissions of this file. Let's go and see if barn yard face is working on ENS160. Oh, please. Spawning my demon child lives. Sure. So let's go back and now we need to run in continuous mode. Oops, shit. Okay, that's good. Sorry, I that was too quick. I uh anyways, so barnyard is running, right? You can see that. And it's opened a spool file here and it's waiting for new data. So that seems all okay. So that's okay. If we do a query on the database, anyways, let's just keep going here. Is that right? Bar lock, snort, snort U2. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that was Barnyard. Uh, should I cut this one and we'll go into PP for the pulled of the pork? Okay. Let's stop this one and I'm going to do pulled pork. And I'm going to go see what's going on with my dog in the meantime.